Oh. Hello, my name is Bianca Swift. I'm from Burke High School. Who let the dogs out? <laughs> <laughs> and this is not a poem. My sister asked me to write a poem about her. I looked at her and asked why she wanted to become a tragedy. A mosh posh of metaphors swimming around an acid made of similes. I looked at her and asked, why do you want to be one of my bad memories? To become a funeral no one wanted to go to, she didn't respond. But we both knew it was because she already was one. What's one more mark on her track record? One more nail in the coffin that's been there? You can't make tragic any worse than it already is. It was then that I realized she didn't want me to write a poem about her. She wanted me to write her eulogy. She wanted me to etch a sketch her noose of a life onto other people's necks. She wanted others to remember that all she wanted to do was forget. She wanted to be heard, but she didn't know what she wanted to say because her tongue had been carved out by judgment. Her diaphragm was kept silent by a muffler made out of pill bottles. Her brain kept too many secrets to speak the truth. My sister asked me to write a poem about her. I responded, why do you want me to perform an autopsy on us? Becoming blood sisters to the worst degree, ripping out her sanity in exchange for my poetry. Why did she want to mason jar our memories? Why did she want to be organs gone blue, dripping ink from the pen, skin paper thin, already going white from liver mortis because emotions take a long time to deconstruct? I asked her why she wanted to have her skin aligned with parallel cuts leaking blood. So thin the scarring had already begun to show why. Why, why, why did she want to be cut open? I knew. It's because she had been closed up for so long. She couldn't stand the sight of the back of her own eyelids. The sound of her bones going beneath her skin had gotten to be too much. She wanted to be seen. She wanted us to know what she looked like, but she couldn't do it on her own because everyone knows only the living can tell the dead stories. She wanted to be her own memorial, the light at the end of a pathway, but she's so quick to tell you she doesn't believe in a god. My sister wanted to be immortalized, but all bodies rot. Paper withers with age, ink fades into nothingness. Only black holes live forever. And who wants an existence where you are condemned to destroy, to consume others so you grow larger than life? I realized she wanted to out life because her skin felt too tight, her organs too large from swallowing all that empty. Maybe if she was big enough, if she was seen enough, remembered enough, heard enough, she wouldn't have to constantly masticate air to choke down her emotions. My sister, she asked me to write a poem about her, to ghost write for the train wreck of her life, and I, I told her no because that destruction fuels the fire of my poetry and I refuse to let her burn.